Welcome, my friends, to medieval times, a magical place where you're transported back to the days of knights on horseback jousting the castle of Her Majesty the Queen here in rural New Jersey. See my wonderful horses, my lovely falcon, and my brave and noble knights. As much fun as it is living in the medieval times for a small period of your day, it's not as fun living in the medieval times 365 days a year when it's your job to do it. In real life, eh, they don't treat their employees so well. So medieval times is, it's like dinner theaters, stepping back in time to the 1100s and going to a noble medieval pageant just with Pepsi and air conditioning and, you know, modern stuff thrown in as well. Where are we going? Only the finest restaurant in town. When Fans Mini Opera closes, we will then be the longest running professional theatrical production in the New York City area, 30 years, nothing even close to that, in a theater of that size. By all accounts, this is a professional show. So it is odd that your performers who are putting on this show are being paid essentially like entry-level workers. Yeah, it is, it is ironic that we play nobility, queens, lords, ladies, and our audience doesn't realize how we go home in a broken car to an apartment with five other roommates, hoping you have enough money for food on the table. And it's not to say we expect to be treated like queens, but I expect to be treated like a human being. You know, when we got back from COVID, everything was a lot harder. People who are already struggling are now putting all of their time and effort into this castle, and yet we're still scraping by. And it just felt like something needed to change. Shortly after they realized that we filed for a petition for a union vote, um, they brought in a labor educator. I believe they paid him $3,200 a day, we found out later on. It was a punch in the gut, you know, to know that they were willing to spend this much money on someone to tell us that we don't deserve a union. We are a team there, and the show doesn't go on without the team working together. Again, the stable people, the knights, and the cast members. After years of union votes and losses, we finally, our voices were loud enough to be heard and that felt really good. And our castle was the first one to kickstart this idea of bringing in the union, and the company knew that once that happened, once the union vote passed, all the other castles were going to take notice. New Jersey taking that first step really was sort of the, the catalyst for all of this. But we've talked about this amongst the Knights for years. Here at the Buena Park location, we are the busiest castle. Broadway does eight shows a week. We do anywhere from 10 to 16 during our regular period during the year. And then at our busiest time, we do 21 shows a week. Understaffing is an issue that is like a plague throughout the castle. I experienced an injury um, back uh, about a year ago, actually. I want to be clear, it was not an issue of someone not doing their job. It started with being understaffed in stables, which led to my horse being brought down late, which meant that I was getting in the saddle late and we didn't have the time to do all the safety checks that we're supposed to do. And by the time I made it through the tunnel, I was already falling off the horse. That's just an inherent danger of the show. You know, they're live stunts, live animals, anything can go wrong. I would say the highest level stunt is called the roll off. Basically, the horse is running, maybe 25 miles an hour. What you gotta do is kind of lean over, throw your right leg over the horse's haunch, and then roll into the sand. And that is the stunt that I was not doing too well and herniated my disc for me. My ex-boyfriend's brother was a knight, and he had to have back surgery at 25 years old. Mistakes happen, maybe someone doesn't get their shield up in time and they get an ax to the face. I looked down and there was a knight bleeding from his forehead just because he got cut with a sword. Our own uh, show cast manager, he 
many years ago had his leg shattered along the wall because his horse got scared. Primarily, we just want the company to recognize the inherent danger and then have us be compensated accordingly. The logo of our union is called Medieval Times Performers United to identify to the public who we are, and they decided to file a lawsuit because we used the name Medieval Times in the union. Well, what we're currently facing at the bargaining table is an empty chair on their side of the table. We'd love to be facing something. We put so much work into writing a, a good contract that we think is fair and is going to keep people safe. We were so excited about what we came up with, and they were like, we reject all of it. We're using the bargaining table to try and get the best deal for our fellow co-workers, for employees. They are using it as a tactic to drum up as much anti-union sentiment as they can amongst the other employees for the company throughout the country. 35 million people coming to see them and all we're asking for is that the benefits get shared among everybody. I love the show. I love being queen. <laughs> I know the audience loves the show and I know they just want what's best for us, and we just want, you know, what's best for each other. This wasn't meant to start a fight, it was meant to end a struggle.